This is a video on single rear wheel 2500 and 3500 GM trucks of different years and 4x4 specifically of the wheel offsets. So this is the uh, what they call the K2XX platform. So this is the newer stuff and they did fix this in these trucks. So if you look down the line where these wheels sit on this truck, these are factory wheels, they line up. So the front wheel and the back wheel are in the same track as each other. And uh, that was good. So these are really nice trucks here. This is a Duramax Denali. So let's go over here to what a lot of people consider the king of all diesels, the LBZ Duramax truck on one year only, 06 and part of 07, or excuse me, part of 06 and 07. Uh, we are reconfiguring this truck. It's single rear wheel, four wheel drive. Uh, Duramax truck, four by four. So this only applies to the four by four. So if you take this series truck, which this is an 800 series truck, and this applies to 400 series trucks, it applies to square bodies. And I think it also applies to prior that all the way back to about 72 or so. So for whatever reason, GM, on the single rear wheel heavy duty trucks, 2500s, 3500s. This does not apply to your 1500s, just 2500s and 3500s. They used the same rear differential offset as two wheel drive and four wheel drive, so they did not make it wider. So if you look down the line of this truck, you get it right, you can see that front wheel sticks out a whole lot further than the rear. And when you put, you know, nicer wheels and tires on some of these trucks, like this is getting some H2 uh, chrome wheels on it with 28570 dirt tracks on it. So if you look down that line, especially when the bed's on this thing, you will see that front wheel is just sticking out a little bit more, or quite a bit more than the back. And the back looks sunk in. It looks, it looks silly. And they all look silly. And they should have fixed this years ago, but I don't know why they didn't do it. Uh, one of the things that I was told by an engineer once was they like them to be this way, especially on four wheel drives, because that makes the tire track pattern a whole lot wider. So if you have one wheel that tracks different than the other, you have like if you're in snow or ice, you get a wider clear path travel down the snow or ice. But I think it looks stupid. I think it looks bad. I think it's a, it's a detriment to the trucks. And there is a fix, but I'm going to show you the difference on these right now. This particular, the mat, I'm going to use this. We squared it off. And so I'm going to show you this, the numbers on here. So basically we have nine inches on this right here. So it's a nine inch to that mat. This, this number just doesn't apply to anything except what I'm measuring here. Just to show you the difference. So there's nine inches here. And over here, there should be an inch and a half difference because that's the number. So yeah, we're right there. There's seven and a half. So seven and a half, eight and a half, nine inch and a half. And that's what these are off. So if you add the two together, it's actually three inches. The differentials are off three inches uh, on the track from front to back. So the fix is this. You go over here and that one doesn't have it on it yet. It's just on there is the spacer. This is an inch and a half spacer. So we just got these off of eBay and they're designed for these trucks. And like I said, it goes all the way back to probably 72. A lot of Fords are this way too. Uh, so you put those spacers on here. Help me put them on the right hole. And you bolt them on. And on the 400 series truck, there's no problem. On the square body, there's no problem. But on the 800 series truck, there is a problem on the inch and a half spacer. Now you can buy a two inch spacer and stick the rear wheel out a little bit further and it's really hardly noticeable, but you won't have to do what we're getting ready to have to do here. Every one of these, we're gonna have to grind off just a little bit. Now the good thing is that's a different thread. That first thread is, is a little different than the main thread here. So we're gonna have to grind these things off to clear. Otherwise you'll have that sticking through and then the wheel will just won't, won't mount, so you're screwed. So we got to do that uh, to make it right. So I'm going to, to do that here in the next segment of this video. But that's it, kind of it. So if you notice these trucks, and a lot of people 
don't notice it at first, but they do later, and uh, it's a big issue. And so I do recommend putting those spacers on any 2500 and 3500 single rear wheel 4x4 uh, Chevy truck, GM truck. Now you look at a big H1 Alpha here. The wheels are right. So they got that right. There, there's not any crazy offset with that. And they did correct it in 2014, 2015 on the K2XX truck. So uh, that's it. And we, we have, if you've ever seen these before, we use the, the factory center caps in them. Chevy, so those will go right in there. I don't have them on there yet. I'll show some videos of this truck with those on it later. So when you have the spacer on it, you'll see this come out to an inch and a half difference here. So no big deal of how it mounts or how it works. Um, I've run these on probably a half dozen or more of my own personal trucks over the years. And I've towed big trailers with them. I've off-roaded with them. I've done everything in the world you can think of. I've never had a one single problem with them. When I first started using them, oh, back in the in the late 80s, early 90s, I was a little scared of them, but I'm not anymore. I don't think there's any problem at all. And so don't let anyone go crazy and and talk you out of them. But on the, I've never used the two inch myself, uh, and it does take the extra headache to, to grind the little tips off of the rear lugs uh, on here. So, that's something you need to consider. The two inch will work fine too. Um, may make it stick out a little bit too much, but I think it's fine. So that's kind of that. And uh, if you follow the series on this truck, you, we've taken it just an average, nice used uh, work truck. That's a rare option, regular cab, long bed, four by four, with all the heavy duty options uh, and kind of cleaning it up some and making it a real nice, nice truck. So this is a, a cool machine. You get around to the front of it here and we did the, the lights. These are all new factory lights in this thing. And this truck did not have the fog lights and I'm making a video to show you how to install those too. So we cut the, the uh, holes out and put the fog lights in it. But uh, so on to the grinding part and I'll show the final mounted uh, wheel on the spacer. There. Good. Okay, so this is grinding off these extended lugs here to fit the spacer. So this is what I use. And unfortunately in the shop, I hate grinding inside this shop because this is too nice a place. So this is how I do it. I take a shop bag. I didn't do it on this one, but the proper thing to do is put the lug on it first and back it off. I'll be all right, because that cuts real well. You put the lug on it first, and then back it off so you don't mess the threads up. And you gotta do that 16 times. Okay, now we got all the, the lugs cut. <clears throat> they cut really good. Of course, we're using this good thin bit on it. It's a good tool. And so now, this should go right on here and not have any protrusions as they're gonna hit the wheel. And so these come off of here. These are uh, not seven eighths like your, your, your uh, lug nuts. They use a three quarter. So we're gonna put all of those in there and then torque them down to wheel spec, which I believe is gonna be about a hundred on these to look that up, but that's what I'm gonna put them at. So all of those should go in there. I've got my threads clean, so they should start right there, and they do. There we go. So there we go. And then we put the three-quarter on here, and I'm just going to tighten them up a little bit. And then use a uh, calibrated torque wrench. Boy, I'm having a hard time with this. One hit it. There we go. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Go to three-quarter. Tighten them in there. Screwing them in to snug them. And then we'll go to this side. 
so that's kind of it and then I will show the bolted on wheel with the spacer so you can see the difference here now that spacer in just a minute so we're torquing these things down they're actually 140 foot pounds of torque so let's check them all out there each one of them there you go do them smooth and easy Definitely want to make sure that these spacers are on tight. Torque them in your uh, proper sequence. I've already pre-torqued these things once. I'm just letting them go through and easy on the truck. Don't shake it on the lift. Try, try that one. Keep that going to that one. It clicks. Started with this one, didn't just make sure it clicks. There you go. Okay. All good. So there we are. 140 is the number. Uh, that's your factory wheel spec. And I believe it's the same for alloy and uh, steel on these. HD trucks. So, okay, now we're torquing the wheel on 130. Just put down easy. Go to what clicks. Push down. There you go. Try this one. Yeah. Yeah, they should be pretty close. I pre torqued them all. So, all right. So, that's what the uh, space difference looks like versus. Go back over to the other side, and you can see it without the spacer on it. So that's an inch and a half. So, so we knocked out there. We're, we're going to cut those in a minute. But I wanted to show something else real quick. You get all eight of them. If you have H2 wheels like these, that's the Hummer center cap that you buy these wheels with. Not correct for these trucks. But. The Chevy center clamp goes right in these wheels. Perfect. Now, I've ordered the uh, chrome ones that are not here yet that'll go in this. These are the silver ones. And you can put the silver ones in there too. However, there is a difference in these caps. There is a steel wheel cap and there is an alloy wheel cap. And so you want to order the alloy wheel cap when you do this. They're the same looking caps, but when you order them, make sure it's for the alloy wheel. When I say alloy wheel, 2001 to 2006 or seven Chevrolet uh, 2500 alloy wheel. So uh, that's what you want, you know that, and that'll get you on here. So then you got your, your wide H2 wheels with some big tires and they're all GM, all factory stuff. No aftermarket stuff involved here. These are correct GM wheels for a Hummer but just not that Hummer, <laughs> the H2. So, because everybody, if you don't know, the H2 is based on a uh, 2500 uh, Suburban platform, basically. And this is a 2500 HD, which is a little stronger frame and stuff, but basically the same thing, same wheel pattern. And on the spacers, it's when you order for your truck, whether you've got a square body, whether you have a 90s 400 series or whether you have an 800 series like this or even a 900 series i believe these are all the same uh eight by 6.5 is what they are so uh that's what you want right there those are the spacers and size so go with those uh inch and a half and again you can put two inch on there and you don't have to cut your lugs like i'm doing but i think Personally, they're just a little bit too much because the factory specs is exactly three inches of difference between the front and the rear. So that equates to inch and a half on each side. So I will show more of this later after we cut this one up and do it. And so for the final part of the wheel spacer, this is the other side done now. And that's what it looks like there. We cut those, put them in other than the uh, factory Chevy chrome uh, alloy center caps that'll go in these wheels. That part's complete, of course, cleaning the tires up. So you look down the side of the truck. Now, as before, those wheels have a whole lot better lineup than before. They are not, this one was you know, inch and a half in compared to the front. So uh, with the bed on it and this, if you've seen some other trucks done this way and, and my other, uh, my 04, uh, same configuration, same uh, wheels and tires on it. It's a uh, extended cab short bed uh, 
04 six liter four by four truck and it has the same wheels, same spacers and everything and it sits perfect and it looks really, really good. So this is an easy, just duplicate project for me. And so here we are at basically, we got right there, right there, right there, a little bit about uh, seven, a little bit more than seven, maybe seven and a quarter. And the front is like right at seven. So maybe we have a quarter inch difference, but then again, this mat could have moved because I dropped the truck on it. So um, a couple times, but it should be pretty much right on. Uh, according to factory spec, inch and a half different, three inch total. So that is the wheel spacer project. And next uh, will be the uh, center caps, cleanups. Um, of course, the bed back on it. Um, we've got the hitch already done on it, new bumper, uh, shocks, all the detail work. Uh, exhaust is off of it right now. I'm uh, doing some, some work to that to give it a little bit more power and efficiency. And uh, there's the exhaust and uh, I might even have that thing ceramic coated and use the factory one. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.